Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is reaching out. I'm seeing some sort of communication coming from this person. This is somebody who is wanting a new opportunity. I'm seeing an enthusiastic energy, but also a lighthearted energy. This is someone who wants to have fun. This is an outgoing energy. They may be making some sort of offer to do something, to go out. But this person is optimistic. They're quite enthusiastic. They have something they want to express to you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Aries. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ace of Swords, and this is Air Energy. Next, we have the Six of Swords, Air Energy again. And finally, we have the Four of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so with that Ace of Swords, we're seeing someone here who wants to be in some sort of communication. They have a lot they want to express to you. This could be somebody who you moved away from with the Six of Swords. Um, th there is a sense of them wanting to get into harmony with you. They want to make peace with you. They want to move towards calmer waters with you. Um, this is definitely with the Ace of Swords, this person... Um, there's a truth they want to express. Um, they want answers from you, but they also want to express something to you. Um, I, I'm seeing them wanting to um, to be open with you. They want to clear the air with you. This is an optimistic energy, this person. I'm seeing them, they believe that this connection has potential to become, you know, something quite solidified, something defined with that four of wands. Um, they are seeing you as, you know, someone that they want to have a good time with. They want to they want to move this connection towards a more lighthearted phase whereby, you know, any baggage from the past, you guys can work through it. So I'm seeing that as them wanting to achieve stability in this connection structure to define this connection so that there isn't any um you know hard feelings or intensity this person wants harmony they want peace they want balance for this connection and um they want to talk things out they want to clear the air with you so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this person, they want to get your guard down. They want to, they want this connection to become less heavy is what I'm seeing. They want, they want to establish mutual trust. They want, you know, you guys to be able to be open with each other. They want to put an end to some sort of stalemate, something that they were perceiving as a blockage. So I do see this person is wanting to bring back fun times to the connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ten of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the World card, Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. And finally, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. So this person wants to give to the connection. They do want to feel like this is, you know, a, a genuine, they, this, with this Four of pentacles in the reverse this is wanting to feel free within the connection wanting to feel stable as well um this person does want a happily ever after they do see this as a connection that has the potential to be long term and yield that emotional fulfillment um that's that's definitely a desire of theirs and they feel like they need to clear the air on something first they need to get on the same page with you about something um but definitely this person they want to close up a cycle whereby there was blockages there was a 
a lack of harmony, there was drama. This person just wants to be happy with you. They want to be partnered. They want to move the connection up. They want to define the connection. And um, I do see them looking at this connection as something that, you know, has the potential to be there happily ever after. And um, they're, they're quite direct about their intentions. This person will express this to you. This person wants to be an open book. They want to, they want things to be obvious. They want things to be easy for this connection is what I am seeing. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, so the card says you are good enough full moon in the in virgo okay so with this virgo energy i'm seeing this in, in a desire to heal the connection and with this four of pentacles in the reverse and this two of swords in the reverse this person wants to let go of some grudge they want to let go of any hard feelings that are you know past energy things of the past they really just want to um you know feel good and they want to make you feel good in the connection they want to heal the connection together okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries So the card says you deserve love you are lovable okay so this person wants to show you that you're lovable i i do see this person wanting to you know just be in love there is this four of wands energy this person does want to celebrate this connection they, they really are wanting to be in a good place they want to get back to that bliss phase in the relationship um i do see them wanting to you know it's like they want to put down the weapons they want to put down the grudge they don't want drama is what i'm seeing with this person okay so i'm going to pull out another Another card for you, Aries. Okay, so the card says power and healing. To get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. Okay, so this person definitely wants to work on this. There's a sense of wanting to heal the connection. Um, this is a powerful connection for them. They definitely do see so much potential for a future here. And um, I do see, again, they want to heal the connection. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.